Yeah, Roy, thanks for coming out to, to talk to us because that must be a, a really hard one to take after the way your players played. Well, they've had a lot of hard ones to take. This is another one along the way. But uh, I've got to say that I'm gutted for the players because I'm gutted really about the way the game panned out. I think that having to play the game with 10 men for the last 15, 20 minutes was unbelievably harsh on us. I don't believe it was worthy. Uh, the way we played and uh, the amount of fouls we committed, which were about the same amount as Liverpool's, maybe one or two less, mm. I don't think we deserve nine yellow cards. I probably deserve mine, <laughs> uh, so I'll, I'll shrug that off. But that's the way the game is going. I've got to say that, mm. you know, uh, it's, it's saddening for me to watch games like that where a team does so well as the boys did and work so hard against all the odds and have to come away having lost two goals to one. Just touching on the on the record, on the two incidents, obviously the first one, even that felt a little bit harsh where he's retreated, he's tried to get out the way. But the second one, um, there was no one really in the stadium that believed, I think, that... I think it was everyone was shocked when they saw the red come out. He's been on four yellow cards, four yellow cards for three games. He's shown incredible discipline. Van Dijk took the opportunity to get him the first yellow card by kicking the ball against him from a few yards away. That's very disappointing. I think if you're a Liverpool football club, you don't need players of Van Dijk's quality mm. and, 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 and status in the game to try and get a player a yellow card by just kicking the ball against him. Mm. And the second one, I thought, was a good challenge. And if it, even if it was deemed a foul, let's say it's deemed a foul, which it could be. It wasn't a yellow card offence. Mm. In fact, there's only one yellow card offence from our side that I would uh, totally agree with, and that's the one where Joachim Anderson at the end of the game gets frustrated yeah. and yeah. kicks a player from behind. That was a yellow card. We expect quite a high threshold for, for fouls, but that's what we're told mm. anyway, yeah. and, and you really don't feel that yeah. that met it. We're talking way. too much about the referees. Yeah. I mean, the fact is, I'm afraid I've been in football a long time, and games like today make me realise that uh, when the day comes to leave it behind, I won't be missing anything. Talking about your players, you must feel a little bit positive, Roy, in terms of the response and the performance today. Obviously, didn't get the result. And that must fill you with a bit of confidence going into the real hard set of games you've got coming up. Well, you're right, Rio, but then I've never had any doubt about the players. You know, we, we're going through a bad spell, and it looks like the bad spell will continue, and we weren't helped today in the continuation of that bad spell. But I've never had any worries about the team with regard to the rest of the season. We're going to have to survive this bad spell. We have to get players fit again, and today not helped by having lost even more players. So it's not going to be a good time for us. But I've got no doubts in my mind whatsoever that the group of players we have here, and if we're able to add to them in January, that will be helpful too, mm. that they will keep this club in the Premier League. Mm. But the fact is if you start keep, if you want to keep raising the bat here and say, well, that's not good enough, you've got to be in the top ten, then that'll be difficult mm. for us. With the players we've got at the moment, I don't know that's going to be possible. What areas would you look to reinforce in, in, in this squad? Well, that... the first thing we've got to reinforce is in the centre of midfield because, you know, we were a little bit light there anyway, and to lose Ducoué, who was one yeah. of our best players, and we mm. don't really have someone to cover him. Chris Richards, I think, is doing a wonderful job, but he's a centre-back, having moved in into midfield and I'm pleased with him Physical but he's not, he's not he's not really a classic central midfield we don't have one of those and of course the guys who play in the what they now call the eight positions alongside that defensive midfield player mm. we not have we don't have an awful of uh, options with us there mm. I think at the back we're okay we've still got options there we've got two good goalkeepers so this team this team and this squad will will get us through I don't have one doubt in my mind but uh, this is just another one of those real blows that we've got to take because we should be standing here, or at least I should be standing here, really feeling quite happy about a 1-1, one -one, perhaps even, you know. You know, well done, boys, you played well today, but I've got to accept that <laughs> that performance has been turned into a 1-2. Mm. Roy, it's quite sad to hear you say that when you do step away, you you won't be missing anything no. from the game. What What is... The main thing the that rules. you feel that you're not enjoying about the direction that the game's going in? Refereeing. The refereeing and the referees, the referees' incentives. I'm absolutely sick about the handball interpretations. I'm sick about these yellow cards for time wasting. I'm sick about player behaviour all through the game. We're trying to do our job. The coaches who set this game up unbelievably well are trying to get a bit of advice out. And every time they step forward, they get even close to me. The guy's screaming at them to sit down again. I'm sick of those Var, things. What about VAR? Well, I don't know VAR. I'm not a great lover of VAR, but there you are. You know, the fact is, that is what it is. We got used to that. I mean, I, I think it's less 
bothering for me in terms of the game and the way it's going and handball decisions. Mm. Like that, that disturbs me. Well, in VAR, well, sometimes it works in your face, sometimes it doesn't. But what I don't really understand is we've got a referee out in the field who certainly made his presence felt out there today. He gives a clear penalty for the first one and then decides to change it and then he gives no penalty for the second one and decides to change that well mm. who's referee in the game is he referee in the game or is the ref game being referee from an office somewhere mm. that would be that's the question everyone should be asking i think they do ask it anyway i'm in a bad mood you shouldn't really be i've, I've come out here out of courtesy Let, really. let's talk sure. about what you can be proud of roy going forward because it's man city away next so another massive challenge but but what can you take from that game into that one from today <laughs> in terms well, of the positives? Four less players to kick off with, mm. and we have a very small squad. Mm. So if I'm to be brutally honest and I'll answer the question, it's four less players I can mm. take in that one. And the second goalkeeper has hardly played a game for the club mm. during my time at the club. So it's going to be, it was going to be a tough ask anyway. Now it's become quasi impossible, I would think. I don't want to take positives from today's game. I really don't, because I don't feel positive. Mm. I feel gutted. Absolutely gutted about the way this football game played out today. Now, people would make their judgments on my comments as they wish. But I have been in football a long time. I do think sometimes I'm entitled to give that sort of opinion because what I saw out there today and the way we lost this game, I thought was a gutting experience. Right, we do appreciate you coming out to, no, to talk to us. I know Pleasure. that's a hard one to take. Thank you very not much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Right, Thank you. Take care. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you.